No way, dude. Hey guys, or welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we're back with more Game of Thrones. Today we're reacting to episode 5 of season 1. So we're halfway through the season. Yeah, this is the midway point. Damn, I mean, every episode's been pretty full on. And we're still getting our bearings. There are a lot of characters, so <laughs> I'm sure it's probably stressful for you guys sometimes. Just be patient with us. I also don't want to force it too much too. Like, we're doing some reading on the sides of characters and stuff, but we don't want to... We want to make it just a bit more natural. So it's going to happen over time. There are a lot of characters that we've been introduced to and we probably know a quarter of the names. So I'll refer to people as the old man with a beard and whatever and <laughs> you'll know who I mean. There have been a lot of new people subscribing and joining the channel and the support has been amazing. We're, we're still blown away by it. I know. So welcome to everyone that's new, both here on YouTube and those of you supporting us on Patreon. It's been awesome. We're really excited to have such a big community behind this adventure. We're reading all the comments. We can't reply to them all because there are just so many but we have been reading the comments and thank you to those of you who aren't spoiling. It's just been awesome. You guys have given us some great context sometimes and a lot of you have been passionate to see our perspective coming from House of the Dragon first and not having watched Game of Thrones and we're really excited to be in that position and share that journey with you guys. So big thanks to you guys and we're excited for the future of all this. Now, a little bit of housekeeping. <laughs> Number one, direwolves, not dogs. Gotcha. I've read the comments. Told ya. I've got it. <laughs> Number two, we realized we missed the dagger reference from House of the Dragon. As I said before, there is so much to absorb that it's honestly, even watching House of the Dragon, there is so much to just get used to with people who have no idea about Game of Thrones that noticing a dagger probably wasn't the highest thing on our list. Upon a rewatch, it'll probably be really obvious. Yeah. But I remember the dagger now, but it wasn't something that stared out so blatantly that when I saw it in Game of Thrones, it was what called out. So we've realized the reference. Thanks for pointing it out to the, those of you who pointed it out, now that housekeeping's done, I believe Pudgy had some thoughts you wanted to kick us off with. Well, housekeeping isn't done. The third one is, we do know that Khaleesi is not her name, it's Daenerys. I yes. think that's how you pronounce it, um, or Danny. But Khaleesi is just so fun to say, isn't it? I prefer it too. It's such a unique name. Like, I would call my child that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would call my daughter that, to be honest. It's pretty yeah. cool. The other thing is, I kind of need to stick it to you because you made me so confused. So, <laughs> there was a scene where Tyrion was talking to someone and you thought it was one of Ned's sons. I realised that too, yeah. It wasn't his son. Too. So, his name is Greyjoy. I think that's his family name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And he was taken in as a ward after the rebellion. And usually that's like a negative thing, but Ned treated him well being the guy that we all know and love. Yeah. So... That makes more sense to the, even his chats with the imp and stuff, like what they'll say back Yeah, and that's why when you were giving me the explanation, I was so confused. I'm like, that's not what I just heard. Yeah, because his relationship with all the brothers seemed like he's one of the brothers, but it makes yeah. sense. There's, there's so much going on in this world, so I'm doing my best. You are. You're doing great. I must give a big shout-out as well, again, to our moderators, Wilson and Sutton, doing an amazing job moderating comments and spoilers. And they've really helped us out. They're always behind the scenes, giving us lore, filling in the gaps, um, and just making sure that we understand things. So that's super helpful, and, and we're super appreciative of that. Yeah. And Wilson has created this document for us with all the character names that we've met so far, and that will be forever updating with their picture and a little description of them. So that's been quite helpful as well. So yeah. thank you. Yep. The one thing that I picked up on was that Ned said that it was Rob's bastard son. The guy in the armory. Yeah. The, the armorer, sorry. Yeah. So a lot of my theories were, oh, it's Cersei's, the queen's son. And it could be potentially, it might be a coincidence that she lost a child with dark hair and things like that. That might be a coincidence. Or Ned might just be reading it wrong. Mm, yeah. One thing that I loved, we got pretty hyped about last episode, was Khaleesi or... Daenerys, as you would prefer me call her. You can call her Danny, yeah. Danny. You know what? I like Khaleesi. <laughs> she finally fought back against her brother, and that was a funny line when he goes, you've unleashed the dragon or something. It's like, brother, sit down, man. There's no dragon about you. <laughs> but, you know, we've seen Damon, the real beast in House of the Dragon. Like, this guy's nothing. But she stood her ground. She started to get authority, and she realized she's going to be number one. And I, I like that. 
you know, even her character development mm. as the wife of a, of a warrior as well and taking on that responsibility of her people and a wife and an upcoming mother. It's cool to see her grow. So I like that. That was pretty cool. In such a short period of time. She's yeah. really becoming one of my favourite characters. Yeah, well, the pacing of this season's been great too. Like, really enjoyable. And the last thing that happened right at the end of the last episode was that the imp, what's his name again? Tyrion. Tyrion was, in my opinion, wrongly accused by... Cat. Cat? Yep. Yeah, Ned's wife for trying to murder her son with the infamous dagger, which I think is a, you know, I think is blackmail from his brother. Jamie. Yeah, in my opinion. But it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out now because Ned said, do not make premature accusations against the throne because obviously mm. that can be pretty dangerous. She's now gone out of anger. Well, he, he isn't the throne. But he's part of the royal family in the sense, or he's a brother of the queen, right? Yeah. That's still an accusation of a very high noble family. Yeah, that true. doesn't come without consequences. And I think the Lannisters anyways were like this high noble family as well. I think one of the richest lots of, of Yeah, lots of money. Yeah, so there's probably going to be consequences to this whole scenario, which will be interesting and we'll probably find out this episode. Big thank you to everyone who's supporting us over on Patreon. If you want to check out our Patreon and you want early access to upcoming episodes or full-length reactions and exclusive posts and other little perks, as well as being able to support our channel, check the link in the description. For those of you over on YouTube, if you enjoy the reaction, remember to give the video a like. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the reaction or the episode itself. And hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of our Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon uploads as we tackle on this awesome next chapter. Okay, let's go. The wolf and the lion. So the wolf is the Starks and the lion is the Lannisters. That's right. Damn. The wall always amazes me how big it is. I know. So we found out it's bigger than the Titan Wall. Attack on Titan Wall, much yeah. bigger. The front oh, the front is there, yeah. The That's two the horses. Yeah. So they do worship horses. I was correct with that. The Dothraki. Yeah. Right. Let's go. Chapter five. Only Ned knew what his wife has done. I know. I think he's still investigating behind the scenes. Potentially. Oh! That's the guy that was impaled, remember? Damn. That's so sad. Going against the mountain. Who determines the draw? Yeah, it's a she draw. But who holds the straws? Was well, there some conspiracy behind that too? That's a good question. Is someone pulling the strings? He was a squire until a few months ago. How could he afford a new suit of armor? Perhaps Lord Aaron left him some money. <sighs> Probably mm. set up. If the king got what he wanted all the time, he'd still be fighting a damned rebellion. <laughs> <laughs> True. It's made too small, Your Grace. It won't go. <laughs> <laughs> there was a dumb whore with a fat ass. Did you know that? Oh my god! Damn, he can't even put a man's armor on him properly. Be too fat for your armor. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ned. Is that how you speak to your king? Yep. <laughs> 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 this guy's like, do I laugh funny, or? <laughs> <laughs> no, your grace. No. You don't like the hand <laughs> joke. <laughs> oh, this poor kid. <laughs> You're telling me those cowards had let me win? Aye. Besides Jamie Lannister. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I've had Ned's just a straight shooter. A Lannister boy? Mm. Bloody idiot. But Cersei insisted. I wonder why. She's a manipulative little snake, isn't she, behind the scenes? Come, bow before your king. Bow, your shits. <laughs> <laughs> he literally... Ned's not having it. Yeah. yeah. He treats people like they're lesser, almost. Yeah. The Knight of the Phallus. Dude, he's gonna get destroyed by the mountain. Why does she always like lads like that? What was that? That's a bit sus, isn't it? It's pretty confident going up against the mountain. The horse is going crazy, but why? Something's up, hey? I'm nervous for this joust. Don't let Sir Gregor hurt him. What's he gonna do? Yeah, but you watched the butcher's boy get murdered. She didn't. Not technically, but yeah. So are all jousts to the death? I didn't think they were.
Damn. What was that reaction by his brother? Well, he he did the, that to the hound. The f his face like that, so there's probably that reaction. Fuck! Damn. Here we Nelson's go. Nelson's pissed. What? Nah. There's no way you just attack like that. To his own horse? Leave him be. Oh, go to the hound. Brother against brother. Respect to him. Stood up to the mountain. <laughs> So the house pretty strong too. Stop this madness in the name of your What just happened? Damn. Why did he kill his own horse? Oh the ho oh it's massacred. I wonder why he defended him. I don't know, maybe he felt like he had to because it was his brother. I don't know. He didn't defend sure. the butcher son. <laughs> You're gonna be caught up on that, aren't you? Yeah. Interesting. I feel like a lot more went on there than we could pick up on. I am not a murderer, Lannister. Neither am I. I had nothing to do with the attempt on your son's life. The Dagger found... What sort of imbecile? Yeah, true. Did I gag him? Why? Am I starting to make sense? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, what's this? <laughs> oh, damn. We've got an action this episode. Oh, she's yeah, gonna nice little... life. She's gonna save you. I'm timing. If I die, what's the point? Give the guy a fighting chance. Uh... I'm like ducking and weaving. She's so close. Oh, bad. Maybe she'll see now that he's being genuine. Yeah. Oh! Oh, dude, the face was mangled. That's like an infamous move in this world. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Damn, that was full on. Nothing like a woman after a fight. Damn. So it's his first kill. Well, I'm willing if she is. Oh. <laughs> Even in death, he jokes. I like him, man. I like him a lot. Your mother had to leave Winterfell to protect the family. How can she protect the family if she's not with her family? Poor Bran. Yeah, there's a lot going on for him. Do you know where she is now? Today? No, I don't. Then how can you promise me she'll be home soon? Poor Bran's fed up. If the saddle Lord Tyrion designed actually works, you could learn to shoot a bow from horseback. Exactly my thinking. Dothraki boys learn when they're four years old. Why shouldn't you? Hmm. They've got info on the Dothraki boys considering they're other side of the sea. Bren's gonna be a pro soon. <laughs> Calm down. Is that Rob's? What's a dwarf like down below? I've always wondered. <laughs> Check it out for yourself. He's good with his fingers too. And his tongue. <laughs> We've been lords of the Iron Islands for 300 years. There's not a family in Westeros that can look down on us. Yeah, I think the Lannisters do. Um, she's prodding and prying. I don't want to pay for it. Then get yourself a wife. <laughs> 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 oh, what was that dialogue? <laughs> I know, but a scene. You are the king's hand, and the king is a fool. Your friend, I know, but a fool. And doomed unless you save him. Damn, From hey. what? There are few men of honor in the capital. You are one of them. My boy Ned. What sort of doom does the king face? The same sort as John Aaron. By who? There was one boy. All he was, he owed to John Aaron. The squire, Sir Hugh. Wow. If Sir Hugh poisoned him. Who paid Sir Hugh? Someone who could afford it. And then killed him so, so he couldn't talk. Yeah, no trace. Why kill him? He started asking questions. 
Damn. So the squire was used as like a messenger with the yeah. poison almost. Did he mention who gave Sir Hugh the poison, though? No. Well, that they don't know. They're just saying whoever can afford it, which I'm assuming is a Lannister because yeah. we know that they're wealthy. That's the most obvious at the moment. But that other guy knew that it was a setup, like you're there to kill him. So, I don't know. To kill who? Sir Hugh. Oh, no. No, because that was versus the mountain. That's a different thing. Right. Yeah. But I wonder what that was then. Yeah, that interaction still doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. yeah. that's another thing. I feel like it intertwined somehow. So someone used Sir Hugh and then killed him to delete the evidence, which is why he was pinned against someone like the mountain when he was, you know, only a new knight. Yeah. Well, he couldn't even afford that armor, we were told. Yeah. So someone like the Lannisters or someone else that's wealthy had to... It only makes sense that so far from what we know of the show that the Lannisters are the ones that ha- have all these yeah, grudges. Yeah, I also feel like that's a bit too on the obvious side, mm. but who knows? So we know the hand was poisoned, which we sort of assumed he was killed by some means. And now they're after the king in the same way. Yeah. What is that? Are they the skulls? That's what I was thinking. Are they the dragon skulls? Found at one bastard already. He has the book. The rest will come. And when he knows the truth, what will he do? The gods alone know. That's about Ned. The wolf and the lion will bid each other's throats. Damn. If one hand can die, why not a second? This hand is not. Oh, it's the bald guy. Damn. And they said bastards, plural, so there's more than one. Oh, Damn. she locked in. How did she even get in here? She was following the cat, I guess. Tell me, does someone somewhere keep your balls in a little box? <laughs> How have you been since we last saw each other? Since you last saw me or since I last saw you? Ooh. If the Lannisters were behind the attempt on the Stark boy's life, and it was discovered that you helped the Starks come to that conclusion... And so many games at play. Is this guy serious? I believe that I have seen you even more recently than you have seen me. Ooh. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. And not long after that, it's when I saw you escorting a certain... foreign... Oh. Big- Damn. <laughs> His face changed. Oh, my man. Friends from across the narrow sea. You're from there yourself, after all. He's on his A game. <laughs> game, set, match. <laughs> so Lord Varys is from across the narrow sea. Right. So that might be important information later on. A lot of games, a lot of politics in this. I know. Even the way they talk to each other. Yeah. So, like, manipulative and cunning toward each other. At least she made it out, Arya. Yeah, but... She looks lost. You want your father, boy? He's lying on the floor of some tavern. Boy. My father is Hand of the King. I'm not a boy, I'm Arya Stark of Winterfell. And if you lay a hand on me, my father will have both your heads. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Or do I need to smack you on the ear to help you <laughs> hear it? <laughs> the Molly's bow. Where did you hear this? In the dungeons, near the dragon skulls. What were you doing <laughs> in the dungeons? It's good. Chasing a cat. <laughs> Innocent. I oh, know. Poor girl. Your brother Benjamin. It's for his sake I rode here so hard I damn near killed my horse. What happened? Did he die? Because he was going past the wall. The suspense. It's about your wife, my lord. She's taking the imp. Huh. Poor Ned, dude. Can't catch a break. I oh, know. He is my prisoner. He doesn't look like a prisoner. My sister will decide what he looks like. Interesting. So we meet her family now. She seems to be pretty powerful. Her heart probably grew cold now that her husband's dead. Her sister's husband was the hand. Oh, okay, okay. So much to remember. And she yeah. remember she sent the letter saying that the Lannisters are conspiring or someone is conspiring? I believe it concerns Daenerys Targaryen. The whore is pregnant. How did they find out? I want them dead. Mother and child both. Damn. Damn, man. Sir Jorah Mormont. He is serving as advisor to the Targaryens. Oh. Is that the guy that's the really? A Targaryen at the head of a Dothraki army. What then? The- Could be dangerous. Oh, fear the Dothraki. The day they teach the horses to run on water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Dothraki fear the water. 
Yet we who presume to rule must sometimes do vile things for the good of the realm. Yeah, I don't like your logic, love. He's got a very tricky tongue. How many innocents will die? How, how many towns will burn? Is it not wiser? Kinder, even. I get that point, but... It's a tough situation. When you find yourself in bed with an ugly woman, best close your eyes, get it over with. Oh my god. They all have way with words, don't they? Damn, what's he gonna do? Without doubts. Without second thoughts. But I will not follow you now. Oh, nice. I like it. Sends his ground. Didn't tremble at the shadow of an unborn child. Nice, Ned. Only he could speak like that to the king. I will have no part in it. Nor the king's hand, Lord Stark. You will do as I command, or I'll find me a hand who will. Good luck with that. Oh, I was waiting for the badge drop. And good luck to him. Go, Ned! Out, damn you, I've done with you! What a legend. Yeah. Back to Winterfell! I'll have your head on a spike! Oh, he has right. a friendship he's for what, though? Damn, he's gone crazy. I'll go ahead with my daughters. Get them ready. Do it yourself. Don't ask anyone for help. Right away, my lord. So that position is in now, though. If you're still here come nightfall, I'll take you to see the last person John Aaron spoke with before falling ill. Damn, just tempting him. I know, like, what do you do? We are best two swords. Hewitt and Will? Find them and meet me at the stables. Damn, I didn't expect this to happen so soon. He's on a mission. But for him to be in this position, too. I know. Bring him here without permission. You pollute my home with his presence. The hell? His last words were, the seed is strong. He wanted yeah, everyone to know what a good, strong boy his son would grow up to be. That's how she interpreted it. He killed your father. He murdered the hand of the king. Oh, did I kill him too? <laughs> I've been a very busy man. You were watching. <laughs> oh, Tyrion. Can't hurt us. No one can hurt us yet. Tell him, mommy. Tell him. He seems a little spoiled. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Settle, sit down, baby. Lannisters are all liars. No one will hurt my baby. I get her paranoia. Take him down below so he can rest. Introduce him to Maud. That yeah. doesn't sound good. He was right when he said if the sister's gone black in the last five years. <laughs> Looks like an animal den or something. What the hell is that? Holy shit! And it says time to, time to on the wall. Poor guy's done nothing wrong and he's not even fighting back. Can you prefer me like this? Mm hmm. If you want hairless, maybe you should find a little boy. I oh, know, I was gonna say, don't you want a man? So they're in a relationship, I'm guessing. He treats me as if I'm a spoiled child. Oh, and you're not. <laughs> I was dangling out of the damn socket. He shouldn't have entered the melee if he didn't know how to fight. Easy for you to say. Pretty disgusting. Dude, brutal times. I just feel like he's going to slip and it's going to start bleeding because, you know, Jerry T would. What are you doing? Look at it. You cut me. It's just blood. We've all got it in us. Sometimes a little spills. If you become king, you're going to see a lot of this. So he's one of Rob's son. Is he? I'm so confused on that part. How many sons does Rob have? You would be a wonderful king. The way to get him motivated is to make him horny. Like, I know. What? There's been so much sex in this <laughs> episode. Oh, it's bad news. Without a hand, everything will fall to pieces. I suppose this is where you tell me to give the job to your brother. <laughs> he already sees it coming. Was it really worth it? Losing him this way. Interesting. What's her angle on this? When the Dothraki horde crosses the narrow sea, we won't be able to stop them. Damn. I want to see that fight. It's a neat little trick you do. You move your lips and your father's voice. <laughs> <laughs> they go from town to town, looting and burning, killing every man who can't hide behind. Damn, so they're like a big threat. How long do the people of the Seven Kingdoms stand behind their absentee king? Their cowardly king hiding behind high walls. He makes a fair point. 
Yeah. Which is the bigger number? Five or one? Five. Five. One. Mm. One army. A... Damn. I like that. With one purpose. Good line. Shit. Now we've got as many armies as there are men with gold in their purse. Yeah, they're not united. What do you want? Do you really care? Yeah, what's her angle here? She always comes to the agenda. Backstabbing doesn't prepare you for a fight, and that's all the realm is now. Backstabbing and scheming and arse licking and... <laughs> it does sure seem like that. But he knows. Our marriage. Shooting through their teeth. This is the most genuine we've seen her. I know. How long can hate hold a thing together? Well, 17 years is quite a long time. It's almost a mutual respect there for what they've endured. Yeah. Because they know each other's burdens, you know. I refuse to ask out of spite. I don't want to give you the satisfaction of thinking I cared enough to ask. She's getting like vulnerable now. Yeah. So why now? Why now? What harm could Lyanna Stark's ghost do to either of us that we haven't done to each other a hundred times over? Interesting perspective. I can't even remember what she looked like. Damn. Oh, it is sad. And seven kingdoms couldn't fill the hole she left behind. Damn. He really loves her. I oh, know. So sad. Was it ever possible for us? Was there ever a time, ever a moment? Damn, you can see the regret on his face and the guilt he's no. carrying. Oh, he never even... Mm. Doesn't make me feel anything. Mm. I was almost expecting her to have said that she poisoned the drink or something. Oh my god. Oh. And they mentioned the boy that they had together and he just didn't respond. Yeah. When John Arryn came to visit you, what did he want? He wasn't that sort of man, my lord. He just wanted to know if the child was happy, healthy. But why? The same thing he asked the other guy, the, ar the armorer. Yeah, trying to figure it out. So is that another one of Rob's bastard children then? I don't know. What do you know of King Robert's bastards? Well, he has more than you, for a start. Okay. If you fuck enough women, some of them will give you presents. <laughs> he was the king's hand. Perhaps Robert wanted them looked after. He was overcome with fatherly love. Yeah, interesting. What was the meaning? I feel like it's more than that. Jory! My lord. <laughs> Man was having a great time. What's this? Jamie. No. I'm looking for my brother. You remember my brother, don't you? Oh, damn. Oh, because of that. He was taken at my command to answer for his crimes. My lord! The way he stuck up for Cat. Wow. I'm going to open your lord from balls oh, to brains dude. to see what Starks are made. Please fight. You kill me. Your brother's a dead man. Ooh. He doesn't really care. Kill his men. Nah. <laughs> Holy shit. Come on, Ned. I've heard Ned's tough. <gasps> Not him. No way, dude. Destroy him, Ned. Destroy him. And they have him surrounded. And apparently, they're both, they're both really good fighters. <laughs> Team Ned, for sure. <laughs> Go, Ned. Come on. Cowardice, man. What a coward move. Okay, that was like, fair enough. He shouldn't have done that. Is that in his leg? I hope it's his leg. Damn it, dude. <sighs> Shit. See, his stupid wife, oh, it's dude. right through. His stupid wife threw him under the bus. <sighs> Ignorance. There was so much in that episode. So much like, happened. Great episode, as always. There's still a lot of world building really happening, so just keeping up sometimes is like a lot of names and places being mentioned. But just on that ending, 
I mean, such an honourable man. That's really why I, I do yeah. love him. Like, even though he done no wrongdoing, he's literally done no wrongdoing. He's defended a mother with an unborn child, and he's defended his wife who acted prematurely without proper evidence. He's just getting in the middle of, like, he's, he's probably the most honourable guy next to Jon Snow and maybe even the imp. Well, Jon Snow is quite young at the moment, so he hasn't had time to like, prove yeah. that. But... Well, but just seeing their characteristics at the moment, they seem to be men of their word and they're yeah. not trying to play cheap tricks, you know? Yeah. Damn. Good good battle. Good battle. I uh, know. I almost, like, teared up just seeing how much pain he was in. And there was a split second where I thought, oh, no, tell me if they got him in, like, a crucial spot. That really upset me. But it was just his, like... Sucks that he's... Right hand man got straight through because I didn't mind him, he was nice, but. Yeah, so many people just got killed off this episode. As people have said, don't get attached to anyone. I know. Oh, I know. Tyrion's being held at some weird jail cell that's like half of a, off a cliff or something. Yeah. And so that's at the veil. Yeah, and the hand's wife, she seems a bit unstable. So, like, I'm really not trusting them under her. I, I get how she got to that point because imagine being in this kingdom all this land and everyone you thought that you could trust for 17 years has just gone against you and your husband. And I mean, the evidence is he's dead. Yeah. She, she has lost a few screws, I think. Um, and we see, we can see that the, to be expected, but the council's really corrupt. Like everyone's working their own angles and yeah. keeping eyes on each other. The queen, everyone's got like spies everywhere. Like it's next level. And to be fair, Rob is actually quite aware. He's just, I don't know, acting oblivious or whatever his goal is, but... I still like Rob as a king. I feel like he's a good man burdened by the burdens of being a king, I guess, and just knowing the kingdom that, you know, sometimes you've got to do harsh things to maintain some sort of peace. Being king is not easy. I wouldn't wish that upon anyone, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, with all the good that it comes, there's a lot of crap with it, too. What interests me the most, probably what I didn't see coming, is Daenerys. What's that right-hand man that's been helping her? Um, Jora, I think his name is. That's yeah. how you pronounce it. Interesting that he's actually spying for the... Lord Va- Va- Varys. Yeah, for the Iron Throne, basically. Like, I get he wants his redemption, he wants to head back, but he just... Yeah, I wouldn't have picked it uh, that he would be selling out on her. Well, I don't... Last episode, he said that... Um, he wants to go home. Yeah, but he said that he needs to go to Core Hall, Hall, whatever, before he followed the rest of the Dothraki to their land. So was that to meet Lord v- Varys or Varys or one of his men to kind of communicate that right. she was having a child? Because it was directly after he found out that she was having a child and he goes, I need to go to Core Hall first. Yeah, yeah. So... Yeah, I did. I knew he would be relaying that information. I just didn't know to who. And Lord Varys is the man. Yeah, well, there's a bit of foreshadowing there as well between a potential war between the Dothraki and the soldiers that defend the Seven Kingdoms, I guess. Mm. And I didn't realize the Dothraki would be such a threat, but they're really because obviously Seven Kingdoms, in times of comfort and leisure, and like just being wealthy and all, obviously there's a lot of self-motivation as well, whereas the Thraki are, like, all united under one Rob ruler. said it well, didn't he? Yeah. But also, I think because they're living it tough, they might not be as advanced technology-wise, but they are warriors. They're living that yeah. life every day. I definitely wouldn't mind seeing, like, uh, what's his name, Carl Drago or something? So he is the Carl, and his name's Drago. Right. Drago. Right. Oh, I'm so bad with names. But <laughs> I would, I'd love to see him against the Lannister, the brother, the twin Jamie. brother, Jamie. That'd be like just, I'd love to see him just go bang straight through the middle <laughs> and send it. But I like it. It's interesting. I like how we're getting both sides whilst getting all these families. Like I'm starting to slowly get some affinity for the way the storytelling works. And it's interesting because you see so many different stories, which we love that. Yeah. And they're going to intertwine and come in the middle at some point, again and again, I'm assuming. And that's always a pretty fun story because you see a lot of crossovers between characters and houses and people that you know and, it makes the world feel very interactive and united. Yeah. The interesting thing now is it's been confirmed Rob has lots of bastards. Yeah. So yeah. it's not 
really surprised in the fact that his boss is, I mean, we know that he's sleeping with many women. Yes, some of them are going to get pregnant. But why John, why he was investigating it, I'm not sure. I think... That he had some, some dirt on him, but it's what could it be and when, what does he want out of that? Yeah, because I think just checking up on the children and Rob caring about that is too simple of a storyline. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. There's, there's so much going on and because the world's so big and there's so many characters, it's pretty hard for me to predict and I'm guessing even you uh, largely to predict. Yeah. Maybe in future seasons we'll get our bearings more, but it's hard to really predict because just keeping up is like a full-time effort. <laughs> yeah, I know. Which I guess keeps it interesting. It's good because, you know, you don't know what's coming next. But Lord Varus, oh my, he's just so cunning and manipulative. I know yeah. we said that about the Lannisters as well, minus Tyrion, but... He's got the gift of the gab. Yeah, and he's just, I don't know, I feel like he's just playing so many different people at the same time. And he wears so many different masks. Yeah, it's, yeah, it must be a lot to keep up with that. He's got a very deceitful kind of character, you can see it, so. Mm. And we finally saw, I can't remember the Queen's name, Ciceri, Ciceri or something like that. We finally saw her vulnerable for once. And a bit with more Rob. genuine with her feelings and stuff too. I almost, dare I say, almost didn't hate her. In that interaction, she seemed like a genuine woman sharing her story and her pains rather than this manipulative, you know, treacherous sort of person that we've seen so far. Yeah. Although I'm sure I'll hate her pretty soon again, <laughs> but we'll give her this one. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. If you did, remember to give the video a like. Hit that subscribe button so you're up to date as soon as we upload our next episode. Until then, take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys next time. See you guys.